Hi, my dear students, Mamarian here. I have prepared this video to provide you an effective academic website where you can learn the APA formatting and style guide in its latest edition. It is important that you know that plagiarism is an academic crime. And at Camarina Storte State College, you can get a grade of five in the subject if you commit that crime for the first time. Suspension for a semester if you commit it for the second time. And dismissal if you commit plagiarism for the third time. Aside from plagiarism being a grave offense, you are expected to submit a number of academic or technical papers in my subject and also in the other subjects that you have this semester. The content of these papers will be more meaningful and extensive if you will obtain some ideas from reputable sources. Hence, you need to acknowledge the source of your cited material. So here's where you can get the APA Documentation Style 7th Edition. On Google, kindly type Purdue University. Now click on this link because this is the official website of Purdue University. Once you land on the website, type on their search box APA. And then the site will provide you a number of options pertaining to the APA documentation style. Now you may click on the first option given to you, which provides the APA general format. So in this page, you will be oriented about the general APA guidelines, the font and the major paper sections, which use APA documentation style. Examples are likewise given. Now, aside from this general format, you may also click on the in-text citations, which features the basic guidelines for the APA in-text citations. Example, you have cited in your work short quotations so this page now provides you a guide through examples on how you will cite your short quotations in your paper. Examples and guidelines were also provided if you have long quotations. Quotations from sources without pages. Or when you summarize or paraphrase your cited material. Another page for in-text citations features the proper citation format depending on the number of authors in your cited work. Example, your cited material only has one author, so an example is given here on how to cite your material. Or, what if it is a work of two authors? or three or more authors. Or an unknown author, or when the organization is considered as an author. Other conditions which may be relevant to your cited material or reference are also provided here. Aside from the in-text citation, it is but imperative that you also have a reference list in the last page of your academic paper. Purdue University provides a page where you can look at the basic rules for reference list. It also provides a page where you can look at the different citation formats depending on the number of authors of your cited material.
Specifically, Purdue University also provides the reference list format if your cited material is from an article in a periodical, a book, other print sources, electronic sources, audiovisual media, and other non-print sources. Now, you may feel free or, or you may simply feel free to explore the different pages provided by Purdue University relevant to the APA formatting and style guide 7th edition. I am hoping that since you know of an academic website where you can get this documentation style, you will now always cite the references of your cited materials properly. With that, you will avoid plagiarism. Thank you, everyone.